<laughs> so we were just uh, five stupid guys. Five stupid guys. So guys, we just met the five stupid guys. <laughs> They've come uh, into the campsite where we're at this weekend, just having fun ourselves. And uh, yeah, we were like, who are these guys post popping in their boats? And they are considered the five stupid guys. So shout out to the five stu stupid guys. <laughs> Good, Dan. Come on, no jumping, bro. No jumping, bro. <laughs> Hooked me. Oh, he fucking got dummy hooked. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good keeper. Nice. Don't hook my shirt like you did. Thank you, sir. Dinner. Very nice. Is it he, uh, he hooked. My lure got tangled up and I seen him running after it. And I stopped and then he came and hit it again but missed it and they just followed it and it was just pure mayhem. He got it. He got what he wanted. And I got what I wanted. We got four here, so that's probably pretty good, I think. Like we got dinner. And then some. Yeah. Yay. Some okay. for my pops. Some for your pops. Very nice. Oh, cool. there's a lot of water in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the oh. five crazy guys or the stupid guys. So these are the guys that we got to meet in our campsite today. Five crazy guys. <laughs> What'd you guys say, you guys? Or five crazy guys, one boat? Is that what you yeah. said? Yeah. Oh, that that there too. Yeah. Never caught a perch here before. Wow, that's a wow. nice Wow, look at the size of that perch, guys. That's a beautiful perch. Oh like my perch. god. Yeah. Wow. Didn't know, never seen a perch in this lake before. No, I didn't. I fished here for 50 some years. <laughs> never seen nice, a perch eh? in this lake. That's, that's good, awesome. Though. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Not going to tell you where, but there's another lake we go to that's we don't tell anyone not too anywhere. far, and it's, uh, it's 20 times better than this lake. Yeah, we don't. We're trying to make you out. Yeah, this is guy girl fishing here. This is guy. What up? Oh, and there's the lovely girl. It's hard to see us, guys. Sorry, but we're just chilling. By the campfire? By the campfire and some Crown Land camping. We say get your camping in and have a great night. This is amazing. Show your flashlight. Look what we did. We just did a little lean to over there. Shine it that way, Ben. We did a little, you can kind of see our lean to that we built over there. I know, <laughs> this is coming from the guy. That is what we're staying in tonight. Uh, boo earns, <laughs> boo earns. <laughs> we're staying in that over there. We got an air mattress in the back. It's just. We're looking at bad weather. Bad weather. 14 millimeters tonight. So I was like, I, was like nah, I am not setting up a tent to roll up a tent in the rain so here let's show them what you said oh yeah let's do it properly this is glamping at its finest so we got the people we got the si hold this. on wait put the trunk to we got the santa claus we just gonna put santa claus c-l-a-w-s C-L-A-W-S. <laughs> she can get through anything and here's her so we got yourself a nice air mattress this this woman cannot go without Jack Skellington. Yo, this girl, this girl is a grown ass woman and she needs to have that hideous face staring at her. And I sleep there at home and I roll over and see them big beady eyes. Like, the frig is this? What? I get really messed up every time I see that thing. It's just like, Sometimes it smiles too. That's, what, <laughs> that's why. Look at look at the face of this thing. Yo, this thing is scary. So anyway, so that's where we're sleeping. And oh oh oh, check this out. We got shiny light. We got a big old moon roof up in here. So, so if we'll the get, rain goes away, we'll, we'll get, get to see, see some it. stars. If it comes down really hard. This will be the. Cool. This is a firsty for us camping in yeah, the truck. Yeah, we, we haven't camped in your truck. It's not our style. No, we like the tent. Yeah. But anyways, so look at that fire. That's just glowing, nice, nice and smoky, glowing and beautiful. 
Good night, you, guys. Good night, but listen, listen. I don't know if you can make it out on the, the camera, but it's starting to it's starting to spit on us a little spit. bit. It's okay. But anyways. Yeah, see you later. Good night. Good night. night. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. I was showing you guys kind of last night our little spot for keeping our gear because we're just we're doing the lazy man camp today. We uh, yeah, I'll give it to a girl. We uh, we're doing the lazy man camp, but we're gonna pack up. We had our mattress in the back. It was calling for shoddy weather while we were here, so we're like, yeah, let's not do a tent. But anyways, mm -hmm. so I just wanted to show you some of the knots that I used to lock tarps in place. Um, you guys probably know the, it's like a locker slide knot. You can slide this down and whatever tension you pull it onto, it's going to stay there. So the way you do that, I'll do a reverse here for you. It's basically like a, a, a hangman noose around another rope. The only thing is with these knots, they're nice and handy, but to take them off, they're a bit of a pain in the ass, but... Once okay. you get it, once you get it out, it's fine. Okay, so see here, here's the issue that we have. So I always just put a little loop at the end of my rope, right there, and then just feed it in like a little locker. So now I have a, a tension line right here, just kind of keeping the tension from up there to here, but I want to do a double spot and I want to pull it down this way. See how this just slides along the thing, right? So you just take your line, hold it parallel with your your other rope, and you just start wrapping it, and then wrapping it. I think you need about four turns is all you really need. Keeping the lines all nice and straight. Right now this doesn't matter if it's all loose. So now you take the end of your line and you just feed it back through all those little circles. All the loops? All the loops. And then back to the main loop. When you pull everything tight, try to keep everything in place. There you go. Now, you can pull this down that rope, and look, it's locked. Tension's there. But that will not come loose until you slide it. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect too for main lines too. So if you're spread, like I have one, I have one at, let me see. Yeah, at the very top of the tarp. I have one pulling it there tight. You can see the same setup. And I have one down here. The benefit to this is it allows you to slide your tarp wherever you want on your, your main line that you have set up. Yeah. There you go. Cheers. Doesn't help if there's a knot at the end.